Hey, what's up YouTube? Long time no speak, Idasa here from Mimic Method. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some new content that I've developed for my latest Flow School program, which is running right now. Before, I would teach people how to find the different positions in your mouth for different consonants and vowels. But recently, I've been diving deep into anatomy, physiology, how the muscles work in the entire body. And I've got a deeper general insights on how muscles work and how to find them and how to fatigue them and et cetera, et cetera. And I took that knowledge from my general physical training and brought it back into my language teaching. And what came out of that is now I have the capacity to consciously control every muscle in my tongue. And in the series of videos that are in this video right here from my program, I walk you through the process of visualizing each of those muscles and then feeling them in your own body. And the benefit of being able to control every single muscle in your tongue is, well, it should be quite obvious because the tongue is the most important organ when it comes to speech and conversation. If you think about it, the very first thing you should do in a language class, seeing as language comes from lingua, lengua, tongue, the very first thing you should do is learn how to use the thing that you're gonna be using for the rest of the time, right? But of course, no one does it but us. This video will give you a sense of how you can go about doing that. So again, these are videos from the program. Um, so there's a bit of context around them. Ignore any references I make outside of what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna walk you through each muscle in the tongue and how to find its contraction. So we already developed awareness of the touch, the tactile sensation in our mouth, um, but Nothing actually touches unless we contract muscles to move our body to those points. So you can say even more fundamental than the tactile awareness is the awareness of tension, is the awareness of muscle contraction. So what we're gonna do in this exercise is develop more awareness of these different muscles um, by getting them to contract and even fatigue, and that will heighten our awareness of that sensation. It's called the kinesthetic sense, right? Or proprioception is another term used. So, um, Again, these are all the, the muscles, both internally and external, to the tongue that are relevant to us. Uh, there's a lot going on here, so I just extracted this whole thing and um, we'll put it on a thing here. Great, so here's our, our tongue. And what we're gonna do to develop awareness, you know, when you just perform the action and you unconsciously kind of contract these muscles, uh, but what we can do is kind of have these muscles fight each other so that they get tired. What they, it's what's called an isometric contraction. So I'm going to flex my, if I just like flex my bicep, my bicep right here, um, that's called an isometric contraction where I'm not moving anything. I'm just like, the muscles are flexing against each other. Um, so we're going to do that here, get your tongue a bit fatigued, and then bring your attention to that area so we're more aware of these muscles, again, with the intention of, using this to become more precise in our pronunciation later on. So uh, first we'll play with the, the, this muscle here. They all have technical names, but I don't care about technical names. I care about functionality. This thing just pulls your tongue back. So I'm gonna call it the back puller, right? Uh, whereas this, these fibers here uh, pull your tongue forward. So I'll call them the front pullers. And um, what we're gonna do is I'm going to use my front pullers to protrude my tongue out as far as I can. And then if I go as far as I can, you should already start to feel a fatigue right here, um, you know, where this insertion point happens in your jaw. So stick your tongue out as far as you can, and then bring your attention to the feeling of uh, muscle fatigue that you feel here. Yeah, so after about 10 seconds, I start to really feel it there. So now I should locate that attention to what I'm seeing on this picture here. And then there, same time I can use my mirror and kind of look for that point. Uh, yeah, so I can kind of see, I mean, you can't see it directly, but you can kind of see where this is going in and then, and then feel that again. Great. Um, so first you want to feel this front puller, feel kind of tired and fatigued, and then now you know that that's how you can get your tongue to move that direction. Um, now, what we're gonna do is, these front puller fibers are going this way, and these back puller fibers are going this way, so that means that if we get things at the right angle and contract them at the same time, they'll fight each other. So we can actually fatigue this back puller by having it pull against the front puller. 
So what that looks like is I'm gonna stick my tongue out again, and then just practice first a couple of times, like quickly retracting your tongue back in. So the muscle you're using to retract it back in like that, that fast is this muscle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that more a couple more times. And then once I have that kind of feeling, I'm going to, it's gonna be a weird cue, but I'm going to try to pull it back, but I'm not gonna let myself pull it back. I'm gonna front pull and back pull at the same time. So it will create this like whoop, this kind of tension stability effect. And it looks like this. And I feel kind of weird and uncomfortable, so don't do it too hard, uh, but you're gonna do it and then you're gonna kind of do it and try to see if you can feel the tension here and eventually probably a fatigue a little bit further back uh, in, you know, further back in your head um, around this area. So let me do that. Yeah, so after a couple of seconds, I started to feel like a fatigue at this point right here. I feel a sensation here that's, it's not, it doesn't hurt. It's kind of strange because no one does this, <laughs> but try it and, you know, uh, our goal here is just so you feel the sensation and start to locate these different sensations in your tongue. And then once you've felt that sensation, that fatigue, now slowly pull front and back and see if you can kind of become aware of this whole muscle fiber while you do that. With eyes closed, so your attention is there. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of visualizing this in my own mouth. And now that I've fatigued it, my awareness is heightened about around that area. Um, now I can kind of feel like, oh yeah, that is this part of my tongue that's contracting and activating when my tongue goes forward. Whereas this part leading all the way back into my head here is activating when I'm pulling it back, right? So that is becoming aware of the front puller and the back puller. Now we're gonna do the same thing as did before, becoming aware of the front puller and the back puller. Uh, by fatiguing them, we're going to do the same thing by fatiguing these last three external muscles, the lifter, the down puller, and the lower. So we'll start with the lifter. This is the muscle I engage when I make like the g sound, right? So make a g, 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 g. And what you're doing is when you bring your tongue up, you're contracting these muscles. And then when you drop it, you're relaxing. G, 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 right? So that... Um, that feeling, in fact, let me show that to you real quick on an MRI scan. Um, Caso. This is a cause, he's a go. So that. Uh, 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 so the whole thing's, uh, gonna, the whole thing's gonna lifting up. Uh, ga. Uh, ga. Uh, ga. So we're gonna fatigue this by um, pressing the tongue against the, that soft palate point as hard as you can, which means you're actually contracting and tensioning this muscle as hard as you can. So as hard as you can, just press it and hold it there for a couple of seconds. Uh, So if you hold it for a while and you close your eyes and let the feel hold maximum tension, you'll start to feel a fatigue happening uh, around here, underneath the back, back of your tongue. And once you feel that fatigue, keep going back and forth between that quietly. And then try to become aware of this. Like, oh yeah, there's something there going in that kind of not completely vertical, but slanted vertical back direction that is shortening and contracting. All right, so let's play around with that until it kind of makes sense to you. And then now finally to integrate it with these uh, down puller and lower. So if I keep my tongue up here and then I try to pull my tongue down, but like fast, down and forward, Right, but now instead of um, actually, really, you know, in order for me to go, 
I have to relax this muscle, so I'm not going to relax it. I'm going to keep it and have this one fight this one at the same time. And I should feel tension here again and feel tension at this point again. Ga. Ga. Right? And then now, if I go back and forth, then ga, ga, ga. And that should become more aware of this muscle here and this muscle here. Final one to become aware of uh, is this lower. Uh, this is going to be more relevant for people learning Arabic. Um, though I suppose, uh, actually, no, if I say the ah, uh, like a really back ah, uh, I'm going to be pulling these muscles back too. Ah. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, say g, and then go g, ah, uh, g, ah, uh, ga, ga. And then instead of actually lowering all the way to the ah, you're going to um, keep your tongue there. And then kind of like you're trying to say ah, but you're not letting yourself do it because you're holding it in the g position. And then you should feel some tension down here, some fatigue down here. Oh, yeah. So again, it's very uncomfortable. What's going on here is that these muscles actually pull up on your um, on your hyoid bone, which is this whole area here where your voice is. So it kind of you're messing with that whole system where your esophagus and trachea is. So it's not nothing, nothing dangerous. You won't hurt yourself. Uh, it would just feel awkward because no one actually does this. Uh, but that awkwardness pays dividends down the line because now you have much more awareness over all these different tongue muscles. So to review, if I Protrude my tongue out. I'm pulling, I'm using my front pullers. Right? If I pull it back, it's my back pullers. If I lift it up to the, at the back, I got my lifter. If I pull it down from there, then I can do that. And if I pull it down this way, I have this. Right? So that is for our external tongue muscles. Uh, now we're going to look at our internal tongue muscles, which are um, going to be doing more activity, really, when it comes to speaking language. Okay, so this is where things really get weird. So if you thought before you were doing weird stuff, it's going to get even weirder now. Because now we're going to get into the internal muscles of the tongue, uh, which are way more active and kind of freaky compared to the external ones. So there's four different muscle groups here, which we can all, we can isolate these and feel these out. And that's what we're going to try to do here. So we have um, this muscle on the top, top kind of surface body of the tongue. And this is going to contract to shorten the tongue um, as well as kind of lift the tongue up. So when you, when you lift the tip of your tongue up like this, uh, then you're using this muscle right here. Um, and then this is kind of going in opposition to this muscle right here, which also shortens it from the bottom and then brings your tongue down, tip of your tongue down rather. Ah, ah, ah. All right. So we'll get to that later. I'm going to actually cut these away now. I'll cut these out too. So you can look at it more easily. All right, great. So now we have um, these, in, these deeply internal muscles, and we have muscles that, um, and if you look at this, oops, I zoom in too much. All right, good. So imagine, remember, all muscles are the same. They're just fibers that shorten and contract. So if uh, these muscles here are shortened, then they flatten the tongue, right? The tongue goes and flattens, right? Whereas here, you can see, you can kind of see better these kind of like little circles here. These are similar to these, but now they're going perpendicular. They're going across our tongue like this. When they shorten, they shorten the tongue like that. So let's work with these first. Um, you're going to see me activate these muscles and contract my tongue. So first, I'm going to start this kind of like dog, like kind of relaxed. My tongue's internally relaxed, but I'm going to protrude it out a little bit. Like a, like a dog. All right, so I have my tongue in this position first. And then I'm going to narrow it. All 
You see that? So uh, that when it's going like that, it's because I'm uh, contracting these muscles here, which are little fibers going across, and then they're and they're like shrinking the tongue in this direction. So play around with that. You're gonna start again with the dog position, and then kind of point your tongue forward, and then relax it. Once you can do that controlled, try to isolate everything else. You don't move your lips or jaw too much, just the muscle. Keep doing that, do it with your eyes closed. First, use your mirror for feedback to make sure you're doing the right thing. Then do it with your eyes closed so you can feel the sensation. Um, and later in a later video, I'll show you how all these things kind of come together to actually make vowel sounds and consonant sounds. But for now, I just want you to kind of feel that and see if you can control and isolate that muscles of contraction. All right, cool. Then we have this one. Um, this one is still a bit trickier for me to do, but I'll try it. This one is now pulling and widening the tongue, right? So that's gonna look like this, making my tongue wider. This is, I can do better in the body in the kind of, just have my tongue inside my mouth here. So you see, I'm still kind of like, I don't have my mind-tongue connection so strong in that area yet, so I gotta keep practicing that one. Um, but that one, you can see my tongue's going neutral and then it widens, neutrals widens. So you wanna, you wanna use a mirror, play around that on your own, and then get that, and then you can kind of alternate between the widening and the, and the narrowing. And then it's pretty fun once you get it. Once you get it, you can get kind of do fast. It's kind of like doing like these like tongue jumping jacks or something. So cool, play around with that, have fun with it. Again, the whole idea of this is just, you know, the more awareness, not like you need to have like precise control and knowledge of these muscles. It's more that just by getting these isolations, it just brings your brain, your mind and attention so much more to the space. So it's no longer a mystery to you and you can do more within your pronunciation. Okay, the final pair of tongue muscles we'll look at, probably the most important pair when it comes to speaking language and creating vowel sounds, are gonna be these two right here. I, uh... Okay, so you have this and the fibers go this way, so when they contract, the tongue's gonna bend here, and then these fibers contract as well. So they're, they're both moving in the same direction, but they're coming alongside the body in different ways. Um, so one way you can find them is that this one, when it contracts, it lifts the tip of the tongue up. And this one, when it contracts, it uh, pulls the tip of the tongue down, right? So you can just start by going like this, right? So I'm lifting my tongue up. And doing that a bunch of times to kind of feel that sensation. Then I can start up and then pull it down. Like pull it down fast. Right, and then this is kind of uh, tricky to get the sweet spot on this, but I can tension this one at the same time that I tension this one. And then it's kind of like, Trying to catch a fish is weird, but if you get the if you get the right sweet spot, then they can they can pull taut. Like when you pull a tent and pull tension on both sides, and it kind of balances out, and the poles kind of stays stands erect. That's what you can do here with your tongue muscles. So imagine lifting the tip and lifting the tongue at the same time, and you'll get this isometric isometric contraction again, like this. Yeah, so it happens to kind of stays, 
still there. And then you can kind of move slowly too for an extra challenge. These are, these are very useful movements for uh, definitely specifically the Spanish R sound, getting that later on. So so I'm going up, I'm getting that slow tension. You can see I kind of lose it because I think I get the angle overpowers, but it's fine. It's exploring, it's more of an exploratory activity. And then coming it down. So my goal is just I'm trying to move my tip up and down with tension. If I can keep that tension, then I'm able to find those two muscles better. Uh, now with these muscles, you can be kind of contracting at different areas. So here we're contracting and pulling the tip, but if I do more, um, you know, deeper in the tongue, I get that a. That's how I get the E vowel, E, 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 right? And then when I'm pulling uh, my tongue back, the tip of my tongue back, E, you see how the bottom part can come in? E, 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 E. Then that's kind of me moving and contracting this piece here. Um, same thing for the ooh. If I say ooh, ooh, then I'm contracting up here, ooh. And um, all these different vowel sounds are, us are usually a result of these, some kind of uh, interplay between these two muscles here. And um, what we, the way we actually train it is we just develop a general awareness, play around, see if you can feel out these different spaces. And then when you learn the moves, we're going to use these MRI scans to help you do it. So, for example, here I have, that's the E vowel. So notice that again, the movement, E, you know, and that's that top muscle here, shortening here to create that posture. E. In comparison to the ooh, 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 you can see how this is uh, contracting more here, and then this is also contracting to pull the whole tongue back like that into like a tighter position. Ooh, ooh, and you can see the round of the lips here too. Ooh, ooh, right, and then but you have all these other vowels like this one. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm contracting a different part. What determines the vowel sound, as we'll discuss later, is the highest point of the tongue in the mouth. So depending on the posture and where it's located, that'll change. So, um, but the point is that to create these different postures, we're, 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 we're contracting these two parts of the tongue in different ways to create the different shapes. Uh. Right, so you can see how this one kind of like divots in. So I'm really pulling this bottom one what is this, all? Uh, yeah, all, all, uh, all. Look at my tongue when I actually make that sound. All. Let me get some, some light on that. All, 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 right? So, that is what's happening. You'll get to look at these things more. And the idea here is I want you to develop the way perception actually works is you see something like with my eyes, but I'm not just seeing with my eyes. I'm actually feeling it with my body through something called mirror neurons. And when we do this awareness activity and we're kind of just spending all this time doing weird stuff in front of the mirror or our tongue, what we're doing is we're activating more motor activity in the space. So when you look at this MRI like this, then you'll be able to perceive more details with your body and thus perceive it more accurately. And then of course our, our main goal is to move away from the visual, use that as our kind of initial entryway, but then being able to hear it. If you hear, our goal is to be able to hear a sound and a sound is just a representation of a physical posture of your tongue and your lips and everything else. So we're mimicking that posture and therefore reproducing the same sound. That's how it works, all right? So that covers all of the tongue muscles. I hope you found that interesting. And um, again, our goal is not to master all these things, but just to kind of play around with it and turn the lights on in this space. 
so we can um, be better mimics later on.